Hello and welcome to another Friday Sessions Quick Tip. My name is Rich Porter and today we're going to be looking at the pre-compose feature in Disguise. Let's jump in. So uh, this comes from a question that was raised uh, on yesterday's uh, live tutorial where we were looking at um, AR, uh, building AR sets. So this is the uh, scene file that we generated yesterday. Let me just um, bring my start data to, to a bit of a pause so that um, slightly less distracting. So the question was is um, we're piping um, video content into our notch block to show on our screens inside our AR set. And the question was, how can we layer multiple different pieces of content on these screens when we only have single arrows into e each of those portals? So um, the way to do this is to use uh, a precom. Um, so this is how you set that up. If we go to our, um, if we click on our texture, we bring up our texture picker. We can generate a new one, which I'm just going to call precom. Then when we select our texture, we choose a precomp texture. Um, that generates a new precomp, and we can just check that that is a resolution that makes sense to us. Um, I often find it useful to uh, remove the arrows um, from my notch block when I'm setting this up. So if I go into my content, Oh, there's a mapping that I, I created while I was testing this. So the precomp basically generates a new direct mapping. Um, and because we have that assigned in our notch block, that's um, it's essentially piping the content from our video module into our notch block. But because it goes via the precomp, we can set other um, modules to also use the same precomp. So let's create like a logo. And I'll just uh, I'll just use my company logo for the hive. So now, because this mapping is also being set to the precom, and this layer is higher than the background, we are getting this layered over the top and using the alpha to see through. So I can just reduce the size of that a little bit and maybe move that about so we're not obscuring out of space. So there we have it. Um, so yeah, pre-comps a really powerful way to um, uh, pre-layer multiple different pieces of content together and then pass them into um, a notch block instead of using an arrow. We can also use this if we want to pass um, multiple uh, modules into something like a LUT for um, that kind of post-processing. So. I hope this answers your question and has been useful and I'll see you in another quick tip. Thank you.